Scientists hope they are a step closer to eradicating dengue fever following a successful trial in Indonesia. They harnessed a bacteria called Olbachia that stops the mosquito's ability to spread the disease. Earlier, I spoke to Dr Katie Anders from the World Mosquito Programme and I began by asking her why human help was needed to get this bacteria into the mosquitoes. So, Bulbachia exists in more than half of insect species, but unfortunately not naturally in the Aedes aegypti mosquito, which is responsible for transmitting dengue and other viruses. So, it had to be helped along. So, years of laboratory work went into getting the Bulbachia uh, bacteria into Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. And once it's in there, it, it stays in there. It's passed down through the mosquito eggs. And when we release those into the wild, uh, they breed with the other mosquitoes, with the wild mosquitoes, and Wolbachia establishes itself in the mosquito population, in the Egypti population. So if you find a concentration of uh, mosquitoes that have indeed successfully absorbed this other organism, will that other organism, the Wolbachia, actually then simply infect all of them, all of the mosquitoes? All of the mosquitoes of this species, the Aedes aegypti mosquitoes, so they breed within their own species and the Wolbachia gets passed down through the eggs and so each successive generation has Wolbachia in it. It also has a nifty um, feature where it stops uh, the wild mosquitoes from being able to lay their eggs so it has an advantage. It can push itself, drive itself through the population. What exactly is the role of the human in ensuring that this happens in places where the Wolbachia has not yet appeared? It's a bit counterintuitive. Uh, communities have been told for years they need to kill mosquitoes to stop viruses from being transmitted. And now we're coming in and asking them to release them in their, in their neighbourhoods. So it's really key to getting communities behind this work is honesty, transparency, and building that understanding that this is safe and effective. Now, we know that it, it works in, in parts of Asia. One, one wonders. Does it work in Africa, for example? So Africa's one continent where this work has not yet uh, started, but it's certainly on our radar and somewhere where, it, uh, where dengue is increasingly being recognised as a big problem. We have been working for years in Latin America, though, and we're seeing uh, very positive results there as well. We have every reason to believe this public health benefit will be seen in Latin American countries and elsewhere in Asia. It sounds an absolutely extraordinary achievement. How long has it taken to get from A to Z? Yes, decades. So our program director, Scott O'Neill, has been working on Wolbachia for decades. Um, it was just over 10 years ago that it was found that when Wolbachia was in the mosquito, it blocked dengue virus transmission. So that was obviously a, a critical moment. And then this trial's been about five years in the making and the doing to really show in the field that you can stop dengue when these mosquitoes are established in the population. Can this blessed Wabakia wipe out altogether dengue? Eventually. Eventually, <laughs> if we can... The, half the world's population lives at risk of dengue, so there's a lot of cities to cover. But as we accelerate the scale up of this and support countries in you know, deploying this over large cities, that is something we can aim for in the future. At the moment, we just really want to bring down those uh, very large dengue case numbers that are seen every year in the tropical world. Thank you very, very much indeed, Katie Anders, for talking with us. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much.